is a very special event happening today, recognizing the American Beach Museum's fifth anniversary. The celebration consists of a series of events through January, starting today with high tea in the spirit. And they have some remarkable women who will be sharing their stories today. One is Jacksonville native, Dr. Janetta Betch Cole, who is currently the president of the National Council of Negro Women. And joining her is Susan L. Taylor, who was editor-in-chief of Essence Magazine for over 20 years, and who currently heads up the National CARES Mentoring Program. And we are honored to have these ladies joining us this morning. I'm telling you, we have, just having you here this morning is so wonderful. You two represent such a history of American culture. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for inviting us. And Dr. Cole, you are local. I was born in Jacksonville, Florida, and I now live very near American Beach. For people who don't know the history of American Beach, mm. it is a wonderful history. There's a wonderful book written about it called American Beach. Tell us how it got started with your great-grandfather. My great-grandfather was Abraham Lincoln Lewis, <laughs> <laughs> who in 1935 said that black people need recreation without humiliation. Mm. Those were the days when African Americans could not go to Jack's Beaches. And so he, one of the founders of the Afro-American Life Insurance Company, legally removed money from the Pension Bureau and bought a beach, bought a beach. And it's not very far from Jacksonville, up in Nassau County. That it is, is true. still there today. And on that beach is a museum that the amazing and graceful Carol Alexander directs. That museum tells the story of the beach and of African-American resistance to anything that is not just. It is an amazing part of this area's history, not just for African-Americans, I think for everybody in this community to learn about. Here are some pictures that are taken from the museum from that time, but if you go up there now, it's just such a living, breathing testimony to what this country has gone through and where we are today. Uh, Susan, I'm just so thrilled that you're here as well, too, because so many people know you from being editor-in-chief of Essence magazine over the years. Of course, you're much more rounded than that as well. You're being honored at the celebration today, too. How have you seen our country evolve, and where do you think we still need to go? Oh, so much that we needed to have changed. So much healing has already taken place, and we have a distance to go. But, you know, this is really the first time, and I think Dr. Cole would agree, that we're really talking about race. You know, we haven't spoken about race. There's always equity and inclusion. But let's really have the, the racial equity discussion. And this is what I see taking place at the highest places, in the highest places in all across corporate America, at foundations like never before. And now what we need is action. You know, what, what I think we forget is that there's enough enough for everyone, for all the children mm. to thrive, for all families to thrive. And there's no reason uh, why in the wealthiest country in the world we have probably one out of six kids going to sleep hungry every night. So we say, like, I'm not pointing the finger, I'm looking in the mirror. And that's why we've given birth to, as Essence Cares, initially, it's now the National Cares Mentoring Movement. It's a movement, and we relaunched Jacksonville Cares last night, asking young people to just know that we're coming. Be patient. We're gathering the, 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 the arms and aims we're linking so that we can really give our children the support that they need because the schools are not really helping them to thrive in a way that they should. Mm. They're phenomenal educators, but I'm talking about the system itself. And you are hoping to change that through your mentoring well, program. Yes, and what we're doing is helping our young ones to override the barriers, giving them the kind of confidence, racial pride, a sense of their history. That's why the American Beach story is so important. We have young people who in schools named after historical figures who grew up right here in Jacksonville, but in that school they're not learning who those historical figures and heroes and sheroes are. We have about 30 seconds left and you are getting the first, the inaugural award today named after your great grandfather. How does that feel and how will you continue to promote mm -hmm. his legacy? Mm -hmm. Through action, the kind of action that 
my Shiro, Susan Taylor has spoken of. If there was one group of folk that Abraham Lincoln Lewis cared about deeply, it was the young. And so this is why it is so meaningful for us to be in conversation today in a high tea. In high tea. <laughs> because Susan so represents, in the best sense of that word, what it means for us to care yes. for the next generation. You know, they're the only future we have. Absolutely. Thank you both. What an um, honor to have you both here. And the high tea is happening today. The high tea in spirit is going on at 4 o'clock at the Ritz-Carlton Amelia Island, right next door to American Beach, basically. Tickets are $65 and can be purchased at the door. Take advantage and hear these stories. Danny Glover is going to be presenting you with that high honor today. And it's we'll be right back. It's actually sold out. It's sold it's out. Sold out. <laughs> so, but there is the Danny Glover Gala that's coming up, and we want people to come to that. So go be a, go be a groupie. Wait out. See who's going to come out the doors. <laughs> Thank right. you both very Thank much. Thank you. <laughs>